Hi guys, and welcome back to another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. We're going through everything you need to know for the MRS Excel Expert Exam. Remember to also like us on Facebook and to subscribe to the YouTube channel to see more awesome Advanced Excel Training videos. In this video, we'll learn how to import and transform data using the Excel Query tool. We're starting our series on data analysis and business intelligence. Data is one of the most valuable assets of any organization. Companies may need to review data sources, bring them together, and turn data into information that can be used to boost revenue and increase efficiency. A query is a request to a data source for specific information. You can combine data from multiple sources, modify data types, and format it to display the data the way you want, and then save the result to Excel. The Get and Transform feature is designed to provide you with easy and flexible connections to data in various formats. You can choose which type of connection you want by clicking the New Query button on the Data tab. There are five main connection types on the Query menu. You can import data from files such as workbooks and CSV files, from databases such as SQL servers and access databases, from Azure such as SQL, from online services such as SharePoint and Microsoft Exchange, and from other sources such as the web. To connect and import external data, on the Data tab in the Get and Transform group, click New Query. Then select the type of data you want to import. We'll choose CSV. The Navigator dialog box may appear, depending on the data source you chose. If the Import Data dialog box appears, select the file you want to use as the data source. and then click Edit to open the file in Query Editor. You can then click the Close and Load button to import the data into Excel. Or you can select the Close and Load To button to load your query to a specified destination. When the Load To dialog box appears, select Existing Worksheets. You can then choose a destination to load your query to. Once you have chosen a destination, click OK. Then load to Excel. After Excel imports the raw data into the worksheet, you can shape it in any way you want to help you analyze it. To load the query back into Query Editor, on the Data tab, click Show Queries. Then right click the query and select Edit. You can use the commands on the Transform tab of the Query Editor to transform your data. There are five main ways you can use Query Editor to shape your data. You can transform the entire table by grouping the table data. You can specify the first row as the table headers. You can also edit only a specific column. For example, you can change the data type, rename the column, or replace one value for another. You can also edit text data. For example, you can split text based on a delimiter or you can merge columns. For a specific column that contains numbers, you can apply statistics such as sum and average. You can also transform the numbers by applying addition and multiplication, or you can even round off the numbers. For columns that contain dates and times, you can display only the date or the time component, or show the earliest or the latest dates or time. To remove a column you don't need, click anywhere inside the column and then on the Home tab in the Manage Columns group, click Remove Columns. To remove a transform, in the Applied Steps section, point to the transform that you want to remove 
and then click the delete icon that appears on the left. Once you are happy with your data, on the Home tab in the Close group, click Close and Load to return to Excel. If you have multiple sources of data, such as the Johannesburg and Cape Town table, they can be brought together if they have a common structure or if they have a related field. For example, the Cape Town table has a column called Category, and the Johannesburg table also has the same category column. Depending on the nature of the table, you can combine them in one of two ways. You can append them. This adds one table to the other based on the columns the tables have in common. Or you can merge them. This operation brings the two tables together based on the values in their related fields. To append your data, load the query into the Query Editor. Then, on the Home tab in the Combine group, click Append Queries to open the Append dialog box. Select the table you want to append to the current query and then click OK. Then, on the Home tab in the Close group, Click Close and Load to return the appended data to Excel. Or, I can remove the append by selecting the appended query step and then clicking the Delete icon. To merge data, click Merge Queries to open the Merge dialog box. Select the table you want to merge with the current query. For each table, Click the header of the field by which the two tables are related. Then click OK. You can then close and load your query to return the merged data to Excel. Now we know how to import our data sources, transform that data into usable Excel worksheets, and combine that data, if necessary, using Query. Congratulations, now you know how to use the Excel query function. I hope you find this data analysis and business intelligence tool helpful when you import data into Microsoft Excel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more awesome advanced Excel training videos. In the next video, we'll learn how to build progress reports using the Consolidate tool. Thank you for watching another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. I look forward to hosting you in the next video. I'm Deborah Gray. Until next time, happy advanced Excel training.